All right, guys, so in this video uh, is a follow-up to the previous video that was uploaded on how to initially set up your, um, your website with the OAuth functionality that Facebook provides. So allowing an individual to log in, gain an access, um, and getting an access token uh, to then use within your website. Um, that's, that's why we left it. Um, this is really to then follow up on how to then use that access token properly in regards to um, session management and grabbing other information uh, that individual that you might want from that individual. So uh, I have a um, a very simplistic diagram, um, but essentially this is what happens. So um, someone logs in, uh, you get them redirected to the Facebook login screen. You send over, over credentials, assuming you haven't already authenticated, and then you're asked to then allow. Uh, the authorized access for the application. So um, you're permitting that the application can access your email address, your profile picture, and all that sort of stuff. So once you've said, once you gave it the okay, uh, and everything all works out, you'll send the access token. So um, all the way up to, uh, get a little, all the way up to here uh, was the, the first video. The second video is then how to then um, follow up with that callback URL, and then how to then um, store that session, uh, that access token within the session, and then how to then redirect it to other pages and stuff like that as well. So um, I made a couple of changes. Um, one thing that we had, if I so if I go into to login PHP when I click that. I'm already authenticating, it'll send me a access token. Um, I've tidied this up a bit, I had a couple of issues, a couple of errors, um, but the thing is that once you hit this page, when you try and re-access it, it says there's a, you know, there's a violation, there's a validation check. Essentially, this page should not then be re-entered. Um, you shouldn't be accessing this page um, as part of the initial request. So. One thing you need to include, uh, and this is the Facebook callback, um, you need to, once you um, gain the access token, you then need to redirect it somewhere else. So for me, I've put in a, uh, a PHP page. So um, before I jump onto that, there is one thing to note here. Scrolling up. Uh, is this part here. So the session start, that's that's paramount if you want to extract the session from the server side. Um, once you've done that, you can see wherever it is here. I'm With the access token that I have with this access token that's been provided to me, I'm storing that within uh, my session on the server side. So I'm actually grabbing that attribute, which is the one I've just highlighted, put it in as a FB access token attribute, um, and then I can use that when accessing other pages. So um, one thing I've put now is a check session PHP. So once I've done that, uh, actually I'll do a quick save, and then upload that. So if I log in again, once I've logged in, it will go to that FB callback PHP, but then it will get redirected with that check session PHP. Um, have a quick look at this check session. Again, very, very simplistic. Um, to access those attributes, well, to access that session, you need to do the session.start. Um, and then I'm essentially validating whether or not I have that token or uh, I have that session already established. If I have, I'm just I'm just grabbing that access token that way. Um, once I've done that, I'm using the access token back to Facebook to then validate whether or not that access token is still valid. And I do that on every request. Um, so I instantiate the Facebook uh, object, and then I pass over that attribute again once I've received it. Um, 
I get once I get the response, it comes back with my username. So the thing I can do now is that I can just keep clicking onto this page and it'll keep doing that request. Until that access token is invalid, only then I'll get a error response. So that's the first point. Second point is um, what to do with that, that value. So um, I have do, 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 results PHP. So um, I get the access token, I go to Facebook, validates that access token, sends back the user object. Within that user object, I get the username, first name, last name, that sort of thing. Once I've got that, I can then use that user ID for other as aspects. So one thing I have done is set up a uh, MySQL database instance with, that stores information about that user. So uh, within here, uh, I've got the DDL here, which highlights the table that I've created, and I've just put in some attributes associated to that username. So if I do a quick quick select, you can see that the stored information is there available. So one thing I want to do is get the access token, validate it, get the username, and then go back to the database, and then grab all the information that I can from that user. So within, do, 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 uh, within the results PHP, if I scroll down, Scrolling back up. So I have here the, I do exactly what I've done before, get the access token, validate it, that sort of thing. Um, one thing I've done here is put in a, a database connection. So I don't mind opening it up and remming some of it out for the video, but um, essentially what it does, uh, makes that connection and then it makes a call based on the user ID that I've got from that, that user object. So just scrolling up. So I have here. So you can see that I'm echoing uh, that user ID. So once I make that call, just quickly show you, it makes it things a little bit easier. So again, a little bit, it's not very uh, well presented, but you can see here the uh, immutable ID for my Facebook user. So whatever it is, I'm using that value to then go to the database and pull the results back. So I have a while loop here. Whilst I get results on that predefined pre-statement MySQL query, I'm getting all the attributes associated to it. And then for each of those results, I'm returning back uh, the username and then the score result. So in a nutshell, that's how to simply use the, um, the, the ID associated with your MySQL database. Um, I've used sessions rather than cookies. A um, lot of benefits over the session management rather than the cookies. Uh, so a lot more lightweight, it's more secure, given the fact it's on the server side, not on the client, people can't access the cookies. Um, the more short-lived, which is more standard with OAuth. Um, so a lot of benefits onto using the session side, uh, but so far, um, we've got the user to authenticate, we've got the access token, got the uh, UID for that person, gone back to the database, got the results and pulled that back. So. So far, I uh, have it all set up. I'll do a next video on how to do the um, the session management to you know delete the session, reestablish it, that sort of thing. But I hope hope this helps, and uh, thanks for watching.